Peppers Chicken Wings Granny Style. You ready? about doing chicken wings this week because well it's the Super Bowl you know and really any time is good time for chicken wings and somebody was asking me about chicken wings because she knew she loved my sweet and sour sauce you remember that one right well I told her that the trick to chicken wings is to cook them ahead of time and then peel the nasty skin off and then put them in whatever sauce you like so here's a step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that, because I love you. You don't absolutely have to grease up the pan, but it does make it a lot easier. Just a simple paper towel is all you need to work that oil into all the corners. Drumettes. Just the little drumette part. You don't need the whole thing. You don't need the flappy part. Now I bet you're wondering why I buy just the drumettes. The little part that looks just like, well, a chicken drumstick because I don't like the other part with the two bones and the so much skin and only a little bit of meat. I mean, that's just too much work for too little reward. And at my age, I'm all about the rewards. Buy them frozen, you And then defrost those little fuckers. Sorry, no swear. Well, I'm not supposed to. YouTube is giving me so much shite these days for saying ordinary words that any fifth grader would say. Shake my head, I swear. Anyway, defrost them before you start to cook them, okay? Once you've poured them in the pan, spread them out so that everybody gets the same amount of heat. Put any seasoning on this right now. I just cover this shit up with tin foil. Aluminum foil, really. That, that's all it is. Pop it in the oven. Here we go. It just needs to sit there for about an hour now. I think these are perfect. Ooh, check it out. Now we just have to take the skin off. Take them out of the pan so we can get them cooled off and we can get the skin off them. Because nobody wants to eat that shit. Ugh. This little process right here is exactly why I like to line the pan with a little bit of oil before I start cooking because it makes it so much easier for cleanup. Now the simple part is just pour out the junk. Yeah, sift it out. You know what's left? The beginnings of the next time you want to make soup. Yeah, yummy, yummy. You guys think I'm just some sort of miser that I save everything. Well, you know, I grew up poor, seriously poor, and I've never had an awful lot of money and not making rich at all on the YouTube or the Facebook because they demonetize my stuff and they stuff it and, and they don't show it to everybody. That's where you can come in handy. You can help. But anyway, it never hurts to save a little bit of juice. You never know when you're going to need it, when it's going to come in handy. This part right here is not my favorite. This is the part that takes the longest. It's certainly not fast as fuck doodle. No, it's not. Because you have to peel off the skin parts very carefully so that you don't lose a lot of the chicken meat. As you can see, I also like to wear my gloves so that I just don't get that shit all over me. And you can put on whatever sauce you like. You can use my famous sweet and sour. You can go teriyaki. You can go ham spaghetti. It doesn't matter. It's your choice. It's your food. Here's a little tip for the final cooking process. Whatever sauce you put on, put it in the oven for about two hours at a really low temperature, maybe 200 degrees. Yeah, that will just make everything, oh, it will, it will all just marry up so nicely. I want to give a special, special shout out to my Patreon grandkids. I hope that you're able to join my Patreon because there's so many cool things that we do over there. I give special videos. Um, we play words with friends. We do all kinds of fun stuff. And this month I have two special shout outs. These are people who've joined my family at a particularly generous level and they get their name said right in the video. That would be Blair Davis and Rich Macy. 
I so appreciate you. Now the rest of the Patreon grandkids, all the people who support me, um, at a, again, at a, at a little bit lesser level, but still at a very generous level, their names are going to scroll a little bit later. You watch for those, okay? And you send out some special good karma for those people. How can you help me? You can spread my shit, share my shit, love my shit, comment on my shit. Commenting and sharing actually is what gets you some of the top fan badges. Some of you people have those on your name. Yeah, it's, it's just fun. And uh, be sure to subscribe, be sure to follow, be sure to hit the dinger bell on YouTube. Really, th that's about it. Just love me and share me because I love you. Mwah! I really love you.